a good a good morning to all of you last week uh, we had sgd sgt small group discussion small group teaching we combined both the methodologies for learning uh, adaptations cellular adaptations that is atrophy hypertrophy hyperplasia metaplasia dysplasia right this was on 24th uh, and sorry 31st march and then 1st april so just to give you the answers for uh, the self assessment or fa whatever we had at the end okay we gave you feedback after the sgd you knew your roles you as a leader scribe timekeeper and one who was summarizing and presenting yes so let us see the questions now the first was uh, what was the first question he said which of the following statements about cellular adaptations is correct what is the right answer so b that is atrophy is defined as decrease in cell size c atrophy is defined as decrease in number and size of the cells right so first one is wrong hypertrophy is increase in cell size and number it's only increase in cell size then hypertrophy is increase in size of the organ due to increase in number of cells no that is hyperplasia actually if cells are increased in number so that is the right answer the second question was during muscle hypertrophy the myosin switches from probably if you uh, remember uh, the first year uh, topic the physiology you would have answered this the right answer is number 1 a that is alpha heavy chain to beta heavy chain next the third question was which of the following is an example of physiological atrophy so all of you have written the, the right answer you said none of the above so this mcq answers uh, mcq itself is giving you the answer fourth one was physiological hyperplasia and hypertrophy are simultaneously seen in skeletal muscle in athletes left ventricular hypertrophy during cardiac failure proliferation of liver cells after transplantation or uterus during pregnancy all of you have written the right answer that is uterus during pregnancy then the fifth question was which among the following do not usually undergo hyperplasia skeletal muscle heart muscle smooth muscle what is the right answer this is 1 and 2 that is the skeletal muscle and the heart muscle so next question was uh, what happens to urinary bladder muscle in response to urethral obstruction all of you have written obstruction so it has to function more so it is hypertrophy right seventh question was heart from an 80 year old man who is an old man what is the arrow pointing at so first you have to decide what is a microscopic picture given here this is cardiac muscle and arrow is pointing at something that is within the cardiac muscle and what is a color see this is not blue or pink the of h and d color so this is uh, you can say brownish orangeish brown then the same thing this is intracellular so that has given or that has discolored the heart so what was that this this was taught to you by aparna that's why he asked you this question this is brown atrophy so the pigment you saw here was wear and tear pigment it is called as lipofuscin and one of the product derived from that is steroid an old man resident of an old age home dies of pneumonia what does it mean here so your affective domain is also touched an old man resident of an old age home i think we learn something here so why leave our parents in old age home we should never do that so he dies of pneumonia a cross section of his brain and normal brain is shown identify the pathology and mention two causes of the same so this is a normal brain this is his brain okay so 
you can see the ventricles which are dilated and look at the gyri the sulci which is slightly widened and all of you have written so the answer for this is brain atrophy and uh, you have said it's physiological old age because eight years old we said and causes most of you have said it is ischemia old age why ischemia atherosclerosis yeah we'll move on to the uh, next question just observe this uh, woman in the picture she is not able to walk okay this I have, of course i have taken from the uh, net see we have covered her eyes this is very important you should never reveal the identity of the individual whenever we are publishing interesting cases it is mandatory that we take the consent of the patient if the picture involves you know uh, focusing on the uh, face or revealing the identity so the question here is you you see such patients everywhere around us okay we need not uh, wait in the hospital to see them so the question here after seeing her is name the pathologic process so look at her both limbs all of you have written so there is bilateral atrophy of the lower limbs so the other additional things which are there we'll discuss about it when we take other aspects of the disease process so mention the most common etiology for the same so bilateral atrophy of the lower limbs most common is poliomyelitis so we see many of them with clutches walking moving around so how can this be prevented the preventive aspect all of us know but just to recall once it is prevented by vaccination what is this vaccine oral polio vaccine and you know that it's a national program pulse polio also being widely undertaken to totally eradicate poliomyelitis okay this was the answer next question an adult male with history of cough and fever see there are so many causes for cough and fever he is a chronic smoker also so our bronch our uh, pulmonologist suspects something and does he has done bronchoscopic biopsy okay so here we are not, we have not given you bronchoscopic findings but straight away what we were seeing under the microscope this is a microscopic picture that is provided so now you are supposed to identify the pathology here and talk about the prognosis what is a pathology all of you have written this is metaplasia you very nicely written that it is normal epithelium of the bronchi and bronchioles is see ciliated pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium so this has undergone metaplasia so adult type of epithelium changing to squamous this is squamous type of metaplasia so what can happen to this next so there is slightly haphazard arrangement of the cells here and most of you have written dysplasia so what next why we have taught you dysplasia it is reversible sometimes it can progress to carcinoma also so you have written either it is reversible or may progress to carcinoma so what type of carcinoma because it is squamous epithelium tendricus squamous cell carcinoma very well written uh, answers for this so this case is interesting now this picture shows prometheus is a greek god of fire so he was punished see his chain to the rock and then why there's a story you have to read about it for stealing the fire to give it to humans or something and what did they do another punishment so they cut open his abdomen especially the right hypochondrium and a vulture was made or a, a vulture was sent to eat the tissue it was when his alive vulture feeding on his tissues okay so the question here is which organ was it eating okay the picture may not be uh, correlating uh, sorry for that which organ was it eating so look at the question so right hypochondrium 
and what is the outcome of cell injury in that organ so you identified most of you have written that it is the liver so what happens if vulture is eating a part of liver daily so by night the liver cells were regenerating so all of us know that liver cells are stable cells so they can undergo hyperplasia or they multiply only when there is injury this is like a compensatory hyper Plasia. So, discuss the cellular adaptation. All of you have uh, uh, written this answer. So, compensatory hyperplasia occurring due to removal of part of organ or a contralateral organ in paired organ. So, this is regeneration of the liver following loss of liver tissue, you know, whatever be the amount because the vulture was eating. So, these were... Uh, just the questions we gave you at the end to help you learn whatever you had learned. Okay, self-assessment and is it formative also individual assessment. Okay, so all of you have understood the topic very well and uh, uh, written the answers well. So all the best. Let your learning be enjoyable. So proceed in the same way. Have your learning. Thank you.